For a more Roman period outfit, I'll start with a different underlayer. This chitin is made out of a length of white linen that used to be a duvet cover before my friend's cat's clawed holes in it, hence the raw edges. It's folded in half and pinned in a few places down each arm to create sleeves. I want to be clear that this outfit is based on very quick and dirty research into a period I don't know much about, based primarily on other people's SCA documentation. So please do not take this as a solidly correct representation of anything. Crinkle gauze isn't period to begin with, so we're going for vibes here. Although you can find my sources on my Patreon. Once this is all pinned, I'll overlap the two open edges and tie a plain belt around the waist just to hold it. The green silk dress goes over the chitin and can be belted in all sorts of ways. Same as before, just under the bust, or a more complicated tie with a longer belt. In ancient Rome, the stola was a garment for married women, which I am not, but I'm also not in ancient Rome, so I do what I want. My hair is all the way up, although I've still got the decorative headband from Courtney. And if I am going for more historical elements, I drape a large veil called a pala around my head and my shoulders like so. 